Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. We are starting a new series on the guide. It is a phrase change series, woo, on the Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. But unlike some of the other instruction you may have gotten on phrase changes in the past in West Coast Swing, we thought we would focus pretty exclusively on the roles and opportunities of a leader and a follower. So if you've ever wondered, what do I specifically do? How do I contribute to the success of pinning a musical phrase change? Well, we're gonna talk about that uh, this week and for the coming weeks right here on the guide. Now, what is a phrase change you might ask? A phrase change is a musical accent that separates two different chunks of music. You can kind of think of it like the enter between two paragraphs of an essay. Now, the reason that we want to hit phrase changes is because obviously they are musical accents and they tend to be bigger moments in the song. So those are chances for us to dance musically by accenting them with our pattern structure. For leaders, our main responsibility is of course, as always, picking the pattern structure and setting both myself and my follower up so that we can both look good on the phrase change. Part of how that happens is a technique that we've called the hang and hit. What that means is essentially we slow down right before the phrase change so that our movement is synchronized because we want to avoid that popcorn effect. If we show this off with a slingshot, let's say I don't do the hang and hit. One, two, I hit, then Desiree hits. Doesn't have a nice crisp accent to it. Versus if we slow down, we can hit together, which looks a lot crisper. Now, the other thing to be aware of leaders is that my movement doesn't necessarily need to be really big on this phrase change because it's really in sync with my follower that amplifies it. So if we look at, let's say I'm doing an inside turn to a phrase change. My movement by myself might be about this. That doesn't look particularly pronounced. If you saw me do that by myself, you'd be like, whatever, that's not a phrase change. But because I timed that with Desiree landing from this turn, it looks a lot bigger because we're in sync. Yeah. So for followers, the two opportunities and responsibilities I want you to think about are if a leader is really rocking their phrase changes and they are setting up patterns that hit partnership moments, to the music, you're listening to the music, you're seeing them listen to the music, you know they've got it, then fulfilling the pattern with them is our chief responsibility. So if Matt's got this really cool move, this cutoff move that's going to hit on the musical one, which happens to be that enter in the paragraph, that phrase change, and I see him setting it up, I'm not going to try to do something any bigger than that. I'm not going to kind of lackluster go into it. I'm going to do everything I can with my own body to make sure we know that this is a musical moment. You'll see that my foot is pointed. I've expanded my frame out a little bit. I'm connected to him so we can stay here until we know what's next. So that's what we need to do followers. It's our chief responsibility when the leaders got it going on. For our second responsibility, however, there are times in a follower's life when maybe their leader is not listening to the music, maybe the leader's had a bad day, maybe there's something going on and the leader's not gonna hit this phrase change. Maybe they are still figuring out how. So in that case, it is our job to use our own shapes and our own speed and timing and levels to do something to indicate that we hear the music to make the partnership hit that phrase change. So say my leader is in a big phrase change moment leading a right side pass. And I'm gonna end up on the dreaded three of this right side pass during the one of the phrase change. Well, what I can do, oh no, I see it coming, is maybe a stutter step and an elevation change on that three, four, five, and six. Maybe this is a leader who's in the beginner class, this is a leader who, for whatever reason, is, is not with the song. That doesn't disrupt anything with their flow. The timing is the same, the pattern work is the same. Now, if this leader sees me doing this and maybe appreciates that and allows me some more time, hey, maybe we can do something a little bit more funky with this time and really indicate pause, like that hang in it, and then go, 
that we have heard that phrase change together. So maybe we add in two beats, four beats to that pattern work, and that makes it even better. So followers, your responsibility is go with the leader when they've got it. When they don't, make it happen with your shape, your timing, or your levels. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store linked in the description. Bye.